Good evening, everybody. I have spent my day so far today in conference calls and meetings, and my body is done with sitting so complacently for so long. So it's the time to put on leg braces. I uh, really want to thank Eric Kondo. If it wasn't for that guy, I would have no leg braces. These are his used pair that he sent me up from the US. I believe he's in Boston area and just like super, super duper thoughtful. Uh, they work perfect so far. I don't have any of the means of like, with a walker or arm crutches. I don't have those yet. I'm going to pick them up next week again, donated from more friends. Uh, they come with a crack in the heel. But that's also repairable. Not in this heel, in the other one, it's fixed with duct tape right now. Uh, but yeah, these are cool. They're called KFOs and they allow you to put the leg brace on in the seated position. And then as you stand up, the knee locks out. Um, if you're able to hobble around with arm crutches or a walker, then this back little portion here, if you pick your legs up, you're able to usually hit it on this back of a seat or the, the front end of a seat. So it'll unlock you and you'll be able to sit, kind of plop back down when you go. But KFO locks your ankle out and your knee so that someone like me is able to stand with less assistance than what's normally required. A set, a pair of these custom units cost somebody in Canada upwards of $6,000. <clears throat> Pretty sure most surfboard manufacturers could make things like this. Just a hunch. Walk both of me. They don't fit perfect, but I like my skinny little upper legs. I don't know how they fit Mr. Condo, but yeah, I strap her in there fairly tight. And then this is the key. Find somebody with slightly bigger feet than you. And old gardening shoes. So that air, our legs are really like almost per identical, perfect. But you find somebody with big shoes so that you can slide them over. And these slip-ons really work great. They work better with bare feet, but I was cold, so put socks on. Slide it over, mash your toes down so that you stick to the floor. Otherwise, when you take this thing off, so this is the cracked heel piece and she goes almost all the way around it. So I'll get that fixed, but they're kind of slippery. And I feel like with shoes, they're Oh, shoes. What are some of the benefits to leg braces? I was going to say, again, standing is one of those things that is great for somebody that doesn't have any use of their legs. It helps with bone density and circulation. Oh, I got like fat bits down here. Make sure, make sure I check this like rubbing portion. I think it's fine, but just to make sure when they come off, I can't handle too long in these blood pressure and stuff. But. They make me feel better about my calves, for sure. Oh. 
crappy wheelchair wheels. Don't stick with the brakes. Yeah, benefits, bone density, circulation. Uh, it's just nice to stand up and look somebody in the face. <laughs> the straps are nice to pull on. I said I wanted some of those on my pants just the other day. Uh oh, I think that'll stay up there. Bionic leg. Oh. Squish the toes. Oh, this is way easier. This foot's always easier. Just goes right on, no problem. And that's it. They're cute with sweatpants, especially. But uh, now we'll probably do the stationary camera and Jesse's gonna have to pull me into the standing position. <laughs> Again, without any structure or standing frame around me, like some people try on the counter. I don't trust that mine's totally nailed down, so I don't wanna pull the whole thing off. <laughs> um, my desk would maybe work if there wasn't expensive computers in the way. And arm crutches, crutches, parallel bars don't exist yet in my house. So, human help. All of the innovative measures and in how a person with a disability or a mobility challenge mind works just all the time, thinking of ways to MacGyver and get through life. First. No. Mm -hmm. right. My legs will spasm and straighten them out. I have faith. Oh. Okay, got another. Oh yeah, there we go. Pull me forward. Now we are. <laughs> Do you feel a difference? Way different than having Way to. Way different. Yeah. I don't have to hold you up. Jesse usually holds me in this position daily to dangle. <laughs> so. And kind of use. Oh, tall man. <laughs> can kind of use the stool to pick myself up and shuffle me over. This outfit is on point today. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So good. Can you hold like that part of me oh, better? It's like standing is so much work. Probably one of the more exhausting things I do. Trekking for hundreds of kilometers is less of a spike in my heart rate and blood pressure than just standing. Um, but it's good for you. It has something to do with the blood dropping all the way to my feet because I sit for so long. And right now I don't have an abdominal binder on and that helps a lot with the lightheadedness. Um, also water intake. Dehydration doesn't help. Oh, here's a pro tip for paras. Um, when you stand up, the drop in your blood pressure will make you lightheaded and you'll want to sit down if you don't faint first. Water intake is huge, physios know that, but many physios will not tell you that in order to jack your heart rate up enough before you do the tilt table or the standing frame or whatever, go and do some hand cycling and just burn out even 10 or 15 minutes really quick on the hand cycle 
on the wall or wherever you can get to just a quick cardio blast to jack your heart rate up a bit. And that'll help keep your blood in the upper extremities of yourself when you stand. So pro tips for Paris. That's a really good one that I valued a lot and nobody, nobody taught me that one. So there you go. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked. I haven't fallen over mm -hmm. here. Anyways, mm -hmm. this is not the best way to stand. But you're standing. But I'm standing and I'm at home. So this is sweet. And I do think that, you know, being able to put these on and go for a workout with a walker down the hallway and back, like I'll be sweating by the time I'm done. It might hit the floor, but at least it's doable at home. And I'm weight bearing at the same time and getting a physical, you know, a heart rate injection that cardio is not a huge thing that gets accomplished anymore in a chair. Um, cycling. I need a hand cycle then that'll help. But how's your neck? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, if you stay there, mm -hmm. don't I don't have any hands on you. It's all you. Let me lean forward. Don't let me do that. Like that's balanced. Crutches would be good. I need to sit down. <laughs> You're done? Yeah. All right. On the couch, probably. You just have me. Oh, yeah. I've broken hardware and my back pops. <laughs> I'm gonna just put my back and my knees on it and then I'll go down. Bam! Just like that. Yeah, and then you hit the back of the leg things on the couch and away you go. So I guess when I get back here with a walker or crutches, then I'm able to sit without my feet straight in front of myself. So that's it. Leg braces from my good friend, Eric, who I've never met, and that's how wheelchair life goes. So thank you. Great, incredible gift.